Welcome to Black Onyx Alternative Investments, where we hope to keep you better informed by bringing you face-to-face -face with South Africa's most talented asset managers. Today I'm introducing you to Stefan Engelbrecht from Capricorn Fund Managers. Stefan, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Andrew. Stefan, let's get started by telling us a little bit about yourself and how you got into the industry. Andrew, thank you very much for the opportunity uh, for me to tell you a bit about Capricorn myself. So, how did I get into alternative investments? Well, honestly, I fell into it a little bit uh, and completely by accident. Um, I grew up in uh, a small rural um, farming town called Machogong, and that was its name from the beginning. It never had a name change or anything like that. And I promise you, alternative investments were not really high up on the agenda in any uh, braai at, uh, at Machogong. Uh, I then went in to, uh, to study financial mathematics at uh, the Rand Afrikaans University, UJ now, um, and that's where I studied uh, financial mathematics. And that was my first introduction to options, derivatives, investment strategies, black skulls from first principle. <laughs> and as weird as it sounds, but it was really love at first sight. I, I just loved the dynamics, I loved the, the, f the mathematics behind the markets and I got quite passionate about it. I started reading extensively on it, and I knew this is where I want to make my career. Uh, from uh, from um, UJ or RAU, uh, I then went to a little wealth management company called Imalivest, and I was very fortunate there that the directors of Imalivest uh, believed in alternative investments, and they gave me a lot of freedom, even from a very young age, to go and express my views and my, my theories in the market with real capital. And I just learned so much there. And uh, they also gave me the opportunity to um, broaden my horizons. So I did a CFA, um, completed my CFA, and then also did an MBA at, um, at the Stellenbosch University. That's where I realized that mathematics, or quant, um, as valuable as it can be, it still is only but one um, piece in a very big jigsaw of the investment world. And that there are a lot of other things that, that you should um, supplement it with to get to a, a very strong investment case for, your, um, for any investment thesis. From Imalivest, um, they then entered into a joint venture with Capricorn, um, where I brought some of my investment strategies, and Imalivest got a bit of a um, stake um, in the strategies at Capricorn. Um, and that's when I moved to the Capricorn um, offices, and where I learned about the real world of, of hedge funds, and not just the the small little nitpicky uh, world that, that I was uh, um, open to in, uh, in Imalivest. There, Damon Hoff and Matthew Aubach took me under their wings, and wow, I learned a lot from those guys. They, they really helped me a lot um, to, to really cement my, my view of, of the world and, and my investment philosophy. Um, and from there, I just uh, wormed myself deeper and deeper into the investment strategy and the investment approach at Capricorn. And the rest, as I say, is history, and uh, now I'm the portfolio manager of, uh, of Capricorn um, Hedge Funds. Describe the history of the firm, and some of the members of the team, and some of the funds that you represent. Capricorn was started in 2003 um, with the launch of the Hollot Stable Fund, uh, now just the Stable Fund. Um, it was set up to, it was seeded by Hollot Insurance, um, as a way for them to optimize their, their free float um, of, of the insurance arm. As such, given that it was uh, insurance money, it had a very restrictive and very conservative uh, mandate applied to it. Um, the fund, however, did perform exceptionally well, and I believe it has one of the en most enviable track records uh, in um, South Africa when it comes to hedge funds, and uh, it definitely is still our, our flagship fund. In 2012, we started to broaden our product range a little bit uh, with the launch of the Performer Fund. And the idea of the Performer one Fund was basically just to unshackle the investment team a little bit um, with the mandate, um, still not, not uh, widening it, uh, the, the risk parameters too much, but to, to just allow us to express our investment cases with a little bit more creativity and just a little bit more flair. Um, since then, the Performer Fund has uh, uh, been very successful and it um, has won quite a few awards um, at the Hedge News Africa um, uh, award ceremonies. On the team, um, we currently have 10 investment professionals, five of whom sit in um, 
a London office um, from which we um, uh, manage our Capric the Capricorn Gem Fund and five uh, investment professionals sitting in uh, South Africa. I am then the, the lead portfolio manager for the South African hedge funds. Um, and basically it's just um, keeping the same investment philosophy across both funds, but perhaps just expressing our high conviction views with a bit more conviction and flair in, in, the, in the performer fund. Capricorn has been very successful in keeping the team together and I believe we have a very good mixture of youth and experience uh, within our investment team. And we are definitely breeding some, some very capable analysts who excite me greatly. I think the only problem that I have is those investment analysts will probably become better portfolio managers than I am at, at present. Um, but that should not uh, really bother the investors that much. Um, but I do believe we have a very nice mixture of youth youthful exuberance and um, an experience coming through in Capricorn and that should um, put our funds and our investors in good stead.